what's going on just wanted to make a quick video of my sort of heavily modified 2014 Freightliner Cascadia um, I know I made a couple of videos before well, I haven't made a video in a while but I made a couple of videos before of like uh, little things I do here and there and some people had questions for me so um, I'm just gonna give you an inside tour real quick just to give you a general idea of some things you can possibly do with your own truck but yeah this is my truck I own this truck I have a contract with uh, forward air and so far I mean I just up front in the office area is the basic stuff I do have the new updated uh, Ram McNally tab 85 that thing's a piece of junk I don't it's like they made that tablet and they took a lot of things that the overdrive uh, 8 Pro that worked they removed it and took some put some things in it that's broken I'm like huh how do you do that I mean the build quality is a lot better I still have my overdrive by the way so it's right here this is the uh, overdrive 8 Pro probably gonna put this back in and take that out but the build quality is a lot better the speaker quality is 10 times worse uh, the processor is a lot smoother and faster so there are some things that are better but other than that it's a piece of junk um, I do have the Ram McNally uh, 213 dollar Bluetooth headset. I mean, it's kind of cool because it's modular. Like you can remove the um, the headrest and actually put the other speaker in. So you'll have like dual speakers. Yeah, sound quality is iffy. It's not really loud. The noise cancellation is actually a button. It's not active, which is dumb. But whatever. Um, <clears throat> so that's pretty much what's going on up here I mean I still do have my printer which is strapped in a seat belt that's a toner printer not an ink printer because I used to have a ink printer and being that I didn't print so much the ink would dry out so I was like right, let me just get a toner printer so now um, yeah I have a uh, homemade sink that I made that has a automatic faucet so I mean no water is going to come out now as you can see the well actually water is coming out because my water pump is not on um, it's an automated faucet because we don't want to waste water I have a mirror there which you can kind of see it's hanging on the closet door I have a shower head there that has a uh, start and stop button so that kind of like pauses the water so you just wash off real quick it has a uh, water temperature thermometer here it tells you the temperature of the water that's coming out as it's coming out I still have my toilet the sink is a pop-up drain so you just press it and water drains out to a Poland spring bottle there um, the lines are going through the back so it's hot and cold water the water pump is there that's the c flow series i think 42. Uh, this is the one that doesn't cycle at low pressure this is a water heater this is about i think it's a 4000 watt water heater but you don't have to use 4000 watts you can it has a you can set the level i think i have, to have it set to like <clears throat> 2500 watts and yeah, it gets the water piping hot as it's coming out because it's on demand. It has a remote. I don't use that, but I just put it there anyway. Um, of course, I have my toilet there, but that's only for emergencies and don't mind that foot. <laughs> um, so down there, I do have the pure sine wave 1000 watt inverter and I have a power drive 3000 watt inverter that one is what drives the water pump the water heater and the refrigerator the microwave and everything else the pure sine wave drives the 55 inch oled tv which is an lg lg 
sound bar. There's a subwoofer back there. There's an Alexa. Oh, I'm glad I didn't invoke her. There, that's a Showtime 8. That's a Showtime 5. Here's my laptop. That so also, all of these electronics are connected to the pure sound wave inverter. Um, that's a gaming laptop. That's a GPU enclosure. There's an RTX 2080 in there. And up top, and it's a little junky, but that's my microwave, toast oven, refrigerator, which I'm going to replace because this is just too small and it doesn't hold much. Uh, there's a PlayStation there. PlayStation, no, sorry, that's a Xbox One X. Apple TV right there. Uh, right here is a PlayStation Pro. Over on the other side is a Wii U. And that's my shower right there. So that's like a Chinese portable bathtub that you can stand inside of. And the water goes in there and uh, you step inside of it. It has a drain plug at the bottom and on the side. So the way my tank works is you fill this uh, Poland Spring bottle. That's five gallon. You turn on the water dispenser pump. It pumps the water inside this tank here, which is a seven gallon tank. And then that runs through the whole system. So this water line's going this way, through the closet, down this way here, and of course to the uh, shower. Um, <clears throat> when you take a shower after you're done, you you ask, well, how do you get the water out? So I take the water dispenser, put it inside there, and then it puts the pretty much dirty water inside there, and then. Whenever you get a chance, you just dump it out. I mean, that's like a quick shower. Maybe you can take like a good, uh, I mean, if on a good day, you probably could take like a good 10, 15 minute shower. So that's uh, pretty much it. Um, it's really not much else, I think. Yeah. So that's pretty much my, uh, I mean, I would, let me turn the TV on. Just to show you. Oh yeah, I can tell Alexa, Alexa to turn everything on in the truck. So yeah, you see it works. So there you go. 55 inch OLED 4K TV. In the truck. <laughs> Most people are like, yo, how the hell did you get that in there? Uh, I don't know. So, okay, well, let me end the video because I'm probably talking too much, which I normally do in all my damn videos, but there you go. See you later.